Okay, here we go for another mission here. Uh, I've been uh, using this car past couple of hunts. Super nice. I mean, it was nice using it. It's, it's actually a 2013, so it's kind of old, but it only has 30,000 miles on it, so it's like brand new. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah. I got a... a the Sam Manuel the Casino free jacket and Robert it says he won a free jacket so I get actually one a week I believe there's four jackets here so I'm gonna go pick up my jacket play my free play and I figured you know what I looked on Google and actually every time I drive out there I see spots that I'm like oh that looks like a good spot this looks like a good spot and I'm just driving along thinking oh well you know all these good spots and so I'm going to bring my detector and uh, my scoop's just out here because I switched it from that car to this car. I'm switching everything right now. Here's my little digging tool. And get into some hard stuff. We got one of these babies. And uh, so let's make sure we got everything. The bag, shovel, detector. That's all we need for this hunt. Uh, let me see here. Get this off of here. I think I opened it. Yep, I did. And we got our water right there. Got extra pants, which I probably need to take out and wash. Rain cover, extra shorts. Uh, I like to carry one of these tapes in my car because it's Gorilla Tape. Because my lights <laughs> fall off in the front. And you never know what else it could fix. You never know what's going to happen. So that tape can hold stuff together. It's like duct tape basically the same thing so we put everything in here and we get our butts on the road got my sluice box down there I'm gonna it's a season for me to go out and get gold so we'll be doing that in a few videos my arm is feeling much better uh, I still got all the other problems but my arm is healing it's like all of a sudden it just started healing like crazy I haven't drove this in a while. All this junk in here. Anyways, let's just get at get down to it. Wait, did I forget anything? Uh, wow, look how dirty the windows are. I think I'll go rinse off my window. Maybe I'll rinse the hood off too. <laughs> I never have washed this car since I owned it. Got it for 500 bucks. Look, there's no door handle. Uh, that's how the lights are held on with that tape I was telling you about. Every once in a while it'll wear out and then it'll pop. Like it's doing right now, I can feel it. The light will just be hanging there. Oh yeah, this one's ready to pop too. Uh, see, it's been hit, hit in the front here. It takes a lot of oil all the time. Oil, oil, oil. So I only add a quarter at a time because it takes it so fast. Anyways, it still runs. We're going to keep it till it dies. And then we'll worry about uh, getting a different car. <laughs> Anyways, we're off. Okay, real quick, here's the game we're playing. It's called Star Watch Mag Magnum? Magma? Star Watch Magma. Uh, Here's the thing, is you can play all these. I was just playing this one line with one bet for 50 cents last time, and I was winning. So I decided today I'm gonna try all of them and see how much the bet is. So we'll go ahead and push that. It's $2 a bet. So I'm gonna go ahead and play my free play, and I'll come back if I get a bonus, because I don't wanna spend a lot of time on here. I wanna get to the metal detecting. Okay, we got the bonus. Let's see what it does, if anything. Come on, re-trigger. <laughs> uh, last time it was re-triggering like crazy, so that's why I said that. There we go. We 
expected to win 50 bucks. And we're only up to four, five bucks. So, well, yeah, 560. The mini. <laughs> I forgot what the mini was. I think it's 20. Yeah, there's 20 bucks. Uh, I should probably push the button, but I'm a cheapskate. Uh, I just want to let it run its course. But that does put us up past 20 bucks. We had four or six bucks on there. 26 bucks, I think. I think that's what we got now. I'm hoping for one of these, uh, like this one, or this one. <laughs> That's why I play these types of games. They have the, um, the those up there, the progressives. And, uh, you could win some money. up to 30 bucks. Not bad. See, I was winning pretty good lion hits and stuff on 50 cents. I was winning like 20 bucks, 30 bucks, 40 bucks. And I was like, I'm going to play this at the full, you know, full screen. And it seemed to have paid off because if I went to play this line, you see I'm playing all of them. The next one down would have been one less line, then two less lines, three, four. And that's the one I was winning money on. All right, we're up to some money now. Well, that was twenty-two fifty. So we're up to there. Uh, we go. This is the fifty bucks I was asking for. Cool. Anything now? Is what we go home with. <laughs> well, come on, baby, give me something good. Well, we're going home with five, four bucks. Five bucks. Nothing. Come on, re-trigger. Re-trigger. Oh, no. So I kind of have to go home now with 207, which kind of just pays for the gas. The gas drive here. I don't know. I'm pretty much done, I think. But I'm gonna walk around. Well, I probably shouldn't have did it, but I tried another game, and we got the bonus. And here we go. This is Ultimate Fire Link. That's what it's called. And uh, I gotta keep getting these in order to unlock the next level, next level, next level. And you guys kinda know the rules. Doesn't really matter. Oh, jeez. There's a lot up here now. Oh, good. Good, good, good. Let's hope it, hope it keeps going. That's all we can hope for. Good, good. All right, here we go. Ready? Boom. That was pretty bad. So is that one. Oh, no. See if we can get it. Oh, no, we didn't. Dang it. Oh, we did. <laughs> oh, wow. I'm trying to get, this is why I like this game. Because look, the mini's 120. The minor is 408. That's why I like this game. That's what we hope to get.
Damn it. I think that's it. I can't push the button, I gotta let it play out. 65 dollars. That puts us back. Where does that put us? Uh, 214, so we were at 207 before. So now we're up $14. That would pay for the gas. So I don't know. We might just call it. Okay, before I leave the casino, there's the parking garage. Uh, I figured I'd show you. I got my jacket and uh, it's really thin. I'll show it to you guys when I get home. But um, we made 17 bucks. So uh, I just went ahead and left after that last one. I know a couple more machines where I'm pretty confident I could win, but I didn't want to chance it. Anyways, uh, let's go metal detecting. All right, uh, found this spot here. That's actually the freeway I was on, but I got off before that. Got some chicken for lunch, just from a supermarket. And I came over, over here and I found the spot. And I ate my chicken right here. <laughs> but look, this looks like a dead tree here. A tree here. There's like a line of trees right here. So the homestead could have been here if there was one here. Now there's a street out here. I don't know. And regular houses, they're kind of old. But maybe there was something here. I don't know. Uh... There's a spot over there. Uh, see the cypress trees? Those are usually like from a homestead. Like somebody planted those. They didn't just grow here wild. But this could have been farmland too. I doubt it though. This soil is horrible. Um, so yeah, these were definitely all planted. So the homestead, I, I'm thinking the homestead's over there because of those trees, those long pointy ones. Um, but we're going to give it a shot and see what we can find. Let's get at it. Oh yeah. Um, <laughs> I was just talking about my car earlier to you guys and the stupid engine light, check engine light came on. Er, I think it just misfired though. So we'll get that, uh, turned off hopefully. Okay. It's too trashy out here. Um, we'll dig this signal just to see. Uh, it's a 24, like mostly signal. Yeah, just a uh, cap. One of these kind of caps, aluminum. Make a twist off. Anyways, uh, I'm not giving up though that tree there and then I, I still haven't checked over there but I'll show you guys that's not so bad over here huh. before it was going crazy so you just never know we'll get up against this tree here and see if there's any that's just a 23 More than likely, just one of those caps again. I'll dig it just to see. To prove it to you guys. <laughs> uh, it's an aluminum can. Yeah. I'm just looking for solid numbers that are like pennies and dimes and nickels. Not nickels so much. <laughs> There's a whole bunch of 13s over there. Sixteen. I'm not digging that. Trash, trash. This isn't so trashy over here. Uh, 
Let's see what, see what we can come up with. I'm not giving up hope. All right. The 22. Wheat penny could be like that. Uh huh. I think I found what it was. Or maybe not. Oh, yeah, I did. <laughs> it's an old hinge. Uh, so that is old. It's got screws on it, but it is old. I can tell. So that's a good sign. We're in the right area. And by those, uh, I think they're cypresses. But we're going to detect right around them. Pretty good sound. 21, 22. That's like a weedy, a wheat penny sound. Uh, I can already see what it is. I'll go ahead and remove it. It's another one of those aluminum caps. That's okay. It's really nice out. Got a nice breeze on me. Um, I'm getting out here in the field and I can kind of get a better layout of the land. Uh, I think there's a structure over here. That's what I'm looking for, structures. Let's check that one out. Oh, wait a minute. I can see what it is already. Oh. Just a, another one of those caps. No. This one's actually from a light bulb. I believe. Back in the day, they used to use like good metal for that kind of stuff. Fill in the hole and... I'll just turn it on if I find something. Um, you guys get the idea of what I'm doing here. It's just kind of searching. And I'm taking you guys along with me for the search. Really scary part of the neighborhood. <laughs> Not that I'm scared. I got a nice uh, weapon here. But I don't, I don't want any confrontations. Anyways. 29.30, that's the sound of a quarter. <laughs> But, look what it is. I already found it. Big hunk of lead or something. Just, uh, maybe it's just some kind of slag, you know. Heavy though. Lead slag or something, I don't know. Well, I got my first find. Only a surface find. But it's 24. But it's right here on the surface. Okay, let's turn it over and see if it is one. Uh, nope, I don't think so. Oh no, it is. That's a weedy. Oh, nice. Yes, it is. Wow. Wow. So maybe the house was in this area. <laughs> Now I'm kind of excited. Oops, I just dropped it in my bag. Wow, just on the surface. What are the chances of that? Your first coin. It was 13. Could it be a nickel? Because you usually, like, when you find coins like that, there's more usually. That sounds smaller than a nickel. No, it doesn't. All right, let's find that, whatever that was. Should be right there. 
I don't see nothing. I lost that one. <laughs> The 19. Let's dig it. Yeah, now it's ringing like a penny. Is that 19 still? It's not really ringing like a penny now, so I'm thinking it's not. Oh, that's why. Another one of those big pieces of lead. I'll go ahead and hang on to them just to get them out of the ground. Right, I'm going to turn it off because this video could get long. Because if I start finding stuff. Well, here's a pretty good sound. 24. But it's also 25. So it might be a little too high. Through in the grass. All right, let's go over here. No grass. Well, I don't see anything. Ah, uh, I do now. It looks like we got ourselves. Another penny. Oh, but it's not a weedy. Hey, got another penny though. It's probably older. 1981. So that's not that old. But uh, I found that one more towards that tree right there. And I found the uh, other penny in the surface right here somewhere. So let's keep looking. Well, as quick as I turned off the camera, I got another signal. Sounds a little too good to be true. You know what that means? It could be a can. <laughs> oh, let's see that. Yeah, it's like really clear and it's deep. So. Bring it perfect now. Alright, let's see if we can get it out of here. Am I missing it? I have no idea. I'm actually thinking this is a different signal. <laughs> right. Let's go over here and check the ground. I think I see what it is. Yep. Piece of copper. All closed up. We'll keep it though. 
Welcome back to our home. Yeah, that was it. Good sound though. Here's another piece of that lead stuff, but it's shaped in a circle. So they were doing something out here with lead. It's a heavy piece. I'll go ahead and hang on to it. My bag's getting heavy. <laughs> and I got one weedy and one penny. <laughs> good 25. Uh, it's a real good dime sound, so I thought I'd tape it. Uh, uh, just another aluminum bottle cap. You can see that? I don't know what it looks like. It goes on a car, but I don't, it doesn't look like a, any car emblem I've ever seen. See the two screws? And look, they're flat. So you know this is old. Too bad it's, it's broke on this end. But I think that went on a car. I am not sure. We'll hang on to it. Alright, I haven't got any signals for about a half hour now. Well, we're getting lots of signals, but nothing like this, you know. 22, 24. No good ones, I should say. I almost wish they would have never rototilled this ground. I gone over it with a tractor. Cause it kind of kind of ruins it. But you just gotta take what you can get. Another mystery piece. But it's a piece <laughs> of something. All right, I'm about ready to give up on this place, but I got the sound here. Perfect 23. Uh, usually when I have to take more than one scoop, it turns out not being good. <laughs> and here we go. Oh wow. Another piece of lead. That's lead. What's weird is I just dug this big copper ring. I'll show you guys when I get home. But, uh, yeah, I'm about ready to, there's my car over there. I'm going to drive it down this road and see if there's any, like, actual structures I can hunt. Uh, I'm not finding any structure. Like a foundation or something. Well, I found it with a detector, but it was on the surface. Uh, it's a dime. I can't read the date. I can't tell if it's silver, but it's probably not. Although it looks like it says 1947, I doubt it, <laughs> but uh, we'll check it when we get home. So I'm cruising down this road. I'm still at the same place. I was back there before. Well, you can't see out my window, but there's a driveway right here. Driveways usually lead to like a house or a business, but there's nothing there. So maybe this is a missing uh, neighborhood. The street's pretty old. Uh, there's telephone wires that just come down here and end. So it's like they're set up for houses, but there isn't any. In fact, it wires are all frazzled up there. I was just looking at them. Oh, and here's another driveway. Let's see if there's a foundation anywhere. So usually you can find a foundation and uh, you know there was a home site or something there. So this appears to be a dead end here. So just a turnaround street right here. And another driveway. 
but the thing is, is this could have been a future future homes could have they were planning for the future when they made the roads and uh, that could be from that you know they never put the homes there but we did find one wheat penny uh, whoa big old rocks in the road I didn't see him looking around so I guess I'll just see if I can find another spot or otherwise I'm gonna go home and just do a wrap-up of what we got and uh, we'll hit it again like tomorrow or the next day not this spot but beach or somewhere else you know I'm gonna try to get more regular uh, just doing all kinds of anything so if you don't like this video stay tuned you might like the next one <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> you might hate them all. I don't even know. Whatever. Well, I was trying to find a way against these mountains here. But there's no access to anything anymore. There's all these brand new houses. Uh, just huge. Like, they just take up huge areas. And you can't get in. You can't get in the, the, to the wilderness anymore. <laughs> you got to fight your way through the houses. <laughs> Anyways, uh, we might just go home and or see if we can find something on the way home. Uh, so I'll see you guys at the wrap up, maybe. Okay. Um, well, <laughs> we didn't find too much, but we did find some interesting stuff. Like all this lead, for instance. Heavy lead. Heavy lead. Lead lead um, then your average junk there's like copper and brass I think this is either copper or brass it rang up really loud and then uh, this also is copper and then you can tell that this is old um, what is this thing here I don't know what the heck that is uh, on those old sites you always find this weird kind of devices and stuff <laughs> I have no idea what that is. Uh, this looks like it's off an old car, but I, I'm not sure what it is off of. Maybe, probably one of you guys know, because uh, seems like people on the internet know everything. Well, I mean, because there's probably one guy out there that knows, you know, out of the thousands. <laughs> and we got an average penny here, not so average. It's 81. We discovered that out on the field <laughs> uh, we, we got these little guys here I think they're either copper or brass they rang up really loud really loud and we got this nice little 58D uh, penny it's a 58D and then the find of the day turned out to be this dime I thought I couldn't see it with my eyes but I saw it just fine to 1947 uh, and there's another little number there I think it said 15 or 1s or something probably 1s I don't know I'm gonna look it up to see if it's a which I'm gonna call it key date and um, oh yeah we got the from the casino they gave me this jacket which actually turns out to be a pretty good jacket for what I do uh, for metal detecting it's like a windbreaker uh, sometimes on the beach it gets really windy and cold um, not too often down here in California but every once in a while and now I got the perfect thing for it or if there's just a light rain perfect I never even had a rain jacket for a long I many years I mean really <laughs> you live in California you just don't need them but now I got one, so I'll be stoked on that. And uh, thank you guys for watching. Um, I'm really excited to be back into this. I will be getting back down to the beach. Do not worry. I know these uh, dirt sites aren't as fun because our beaches are so beautiful. But um, yeah, that's it for this hunt. And stay tuned for the next video because it might be on the beach. But I'm tempted to go get gold too. And I'm, I'm like so excited to be back. I don't know what to do. I'm going crazy. <laughs> All right. I'll see you guys in the next one.